Happy 4th of July, everyone. Now, if you're not from the United States, just happy July 4th, which is just kind of another day. But we're gonna celebrate with uh, an incredible firework video. Bagel, 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 tear. Put it reverse, tear. Put it reverse. Oh, Lord, Lord, please. I have so many questions about that video. But so on that note, talking about fireworks and smoke, uh, I have to do a little home improvement project real quick. I have to replace the uh, smoke alarms because they are from the year 2000. This is a Nest Protect. It's a fire alarm and a carbon dioxide detector. I always love this feeling, like the iPhone boxes, it's like that slow anticipation of the box opening. These things last around 10 years, so it says I should replace it in 2031. Hi, from Nest. Hi, Nest. Hola. Uh, time to turn off the power so I don't electrocute myself. Now I know that is all very riveting, me installing that stuff. It's time to go to Disney Springs. I haven't been there in a while. We're gonna see if there's any new merchandise, how busy is it gonna be, and Gideon's has a new limited edition cookie, which I'm excited about, so let's go. Uh, we were heading to Disney Springs. They've officially removed the mask signs. It's looking like a fairly busy afternoon. Uh, the Corella poster has been replaced by the new Black Widow one. Uh, we've been added to the Gideon's uh, virtual queue. It's gonna be three hours and 20 minutes. Okay, this is the Lego store. Everybody's waiting outside in this line just to get into the Lego store in the rain. Now, I always love talking about the odd shirts that guests wear here at Disney. I might have seen the oddest. It was somebody wearing just a black t-shirt and it said, I love my funeral director. Okay. Now, I've never noticed this, but on the top of the carousel are paintings of places from downtown Disney. Not Disney Springs, but from the original downtown Disney. Then I hope they never remove that Lego dragon. God, where did they have giant mushrooms? Okay, I'm an idiot and I've never noticed this before, but Rainforest Cafe, that's where that giant mushroom is. It was on the carousel. Time to enter into World of Disney and see what's new. So they're still having us like snake back and forth in a queue to get into World of Disney. I don't get it. Why can't we just like walk in? Now the line was actually just to see this beautiful topiary of Mickey. Okay, we're almost there. Hey, these are new. These are really cool. These are like spirit jerseys, but like a thinner material of stitch. What do we got? $35 though. All right, now they have a bunch of new Indiana Jones merch, which I think is great for the anniversary. But here's like a little light up torch and it kind of looks like a Cheeto or like Chucky's hair. All right, now they have the cat from Luke. When I saw him, he just looks like a knockoff grumpy cat though. But I do love this shirt. It looks like the artwork that they have at the Riviera Resort. So you can see all the characters down there. I feel like these are going to be going to the Disney outlet. They would scare me if I was a kid. Right, for a second, I thought this plush had uh, two heads and I was really disturbed, but it's just a uh, plush behind it. Oh God. These are brand new. They have uh, Captain America ears. And yeah, they have the Black Widow merch here. They have like her uh, gauntlets that I guess shoot darts or something. And Disney has forgotten about my boy Grogu. They have no new merch. It's like the same stuff that they had from last year. And I'm over here checking all the new emos, but this is literally the only clothes that they have. I'm very confused. Did they all sell out? I think it's in the spirit jersey. I think it's like key lime or mint. It's all right. They're just kind of running out of popular colors now. I right, know this one is really cool. Keith got me this one for my birthday and Keith also got me a matching shirt that goes with it. But I think you can buy an inflatable flamingo for your new emo to sit on. I right, we just finished. I think Disney's just kind of slacking on their merch this year. There's nothing really cool or exciting that I really want. Except that Lucas shirt. I did like that. It is uh, busy here at Light Pig this afternoon. Okay, I got my plate pig order to go. There's not too many good places to sit at Disney Springs, but this is my favorite. It's over by Deluxe Burger. You look over at the Springs. Not what I was expecting. Um, I wanted a side of cornbread, and um, this is the side of cornbread. It's a, it's a little like a uh, muffin bite. So guys, first off, I got the little cornbread, and then I got barbecue waffle fries, and then I got the Southern Pig. It's gonna be pulled pork, fennel apple slaw, tangy mustard barbecue. I just finished uh, the pulled pork sandwich. I wish there was more pulled pork on the sandwich. Kind of skimped out on it, but really nice, smoky, flavorful pork that was on there. The slaw that was on top was was all right. And the bun was okay. The fries are really good. I wish they had like pulled pork waffle fries with cheese on them. That would change my life. A decent solid meal. I think we'll do it at 8.5. Now, it's been a while since I've been back here to Everglades. They added this little mini car and they added a giant donut up there. It's still crazy that uh, the NBA experience is still closed. I don't think this place will ever reopen because they laid off everyone and it's just left. 
looking abandoned. I feel so sorry for all those Funkos over there being sunbaked. It's crazy to see how many people are walking up there and opening it, thinking that the experience is open, but it'll probably never reopen. Okay, the Disney gods are in our favor today. My phone was on 1% and I finally got the text to return to Gideon's, thank God. I've checked in, I've made it into the line. I love the artwork for this month. It's like a mermaid and you got two little key lines right there. Again, it looks very Tim Burton-y. The secret and the curious origin of the Florida key line. Uh, we are next to go into the Cathedral of Cookies. One of my favorite places in the entire world. And your mouth just starts to water just at the sight of these cookies. I think this is this month's cookie. Looks very odd. Okay, after 200 minutes, we got it. It's currently at a four hour wait now. I hope this cookie's good. Okay, so this month is key lime flavor. It's a key lime chocolate chip cookie. Now, I love key lime. I've been to Key West, I've had like the real thing. When it comes to like key lime flavored stuff, a lot of times it tastes artificial and fake, so I'm hoping this doesn't taste like that. I hope it's like a, just a subtle hint and complements the chocolate. It looks like almost like a mutated chocolate chip cookie. You can definitely smell the lime flavor. I'm getting hints of mint in there with the lime. It doesn't taste like artificial lime. It's like a subtle hint of the key lime in there, but it's odd. I don't know if it complements the chocolate perfectly. I think I would try this cookie, but I don't think I'd get it again. I'm gonna do like a 7.5 on this cookie. I enjoy key lime, it's just, it's just all right. Yeah, well what we had planned for the rest of the day, it rained and thunderstorms so we couldn't do it. There's so many variables when it comes to the weather and you have to worry about your camera gear and stuff. So, instead, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little mini vlog that we shot. We went to White Castle. Now before you watch the White Castle video, I would like to let you know the day after we ate there, it was announced that the world's largest White Castle had 20 health code violations in its first inspection after opening. So just remember that while we're uh, eating our White Castle. We are officially going to White Castle. Now they have recently opened a White Castle. Is it the world's biggest White Castle or something? The lines are apparently insane. People wait like multiple hours for White Castle. I've had White Castle before. I remember I got violently ill from it. So it's been about a decade. So I'm excited to see how it is. You're in for an experience. I hope so. All right, they have all sorts of police to help with traffic. I think this is the White Castle parking. I don't know, there's just so many cars everywhere. Who knows what's going on? They have parking attendants. This is literally the most insane drive through I've ever seen. It just wraps around the building multiple times. So we're choosing to eat inside instead of sitting in our car for like two hours to get some little sliders. Okay, so they have a giant queue set up. Helicopters in the sky. I do really like their trash cans though, the shape of them. Here we are. Gates have been open. And now we wait in another line. What does it smell like? Crystal! I don't think I could ever work here because all you smell is just the onions that they use on the sliders. Now they have photos on the wall. Did somebody get married at a White Castle? Oh, they did. That's dedication right there. Now they have this art, but like when people are eating food, aren't they supposed to look like happy? This just looks like an angry baby eating a little burger. Eventually. Where's Harold Kumar? An hour later, they're all packaged nice and neat. It smells like just straight up onions. It's like crystals. Good at least? Or is it just like mediocre? Well, you, want, so you, you want to get the Crave case? This is literally the most insane fast food operation I've ever seen in my entire life. They must be going through like 10,000 burgers a day. It's almost mesmerizing the assembly line of them making the burgers. I know there's like diehard White Castle fans out there. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these. I know, I'm pretty sure Jared's not gonna like them. Is it worth an hour wait? I mean, it's different. Would you get it again? It's just so oniony. Now each little slider is in their own container. All right, we're gonna go with the classic one first, the one with the onions. Oh no, why'd they have to soil it with a pickle? Like we will be taking those off. Now there's still pickle juice on it. So it, it just looks like a patty with a little bit of onions. Now this costs less than a dollar. Like honestly, the patty is so thin that all I taste is bun. Okay, now it's time for like the more exciting one. A Little bit of bacon, the onion, I think I'm American cheese. This one's good. Now this is the one I think is the most interesting and I'm most excited about. It's like a chicken and waffle one with bacon on it. All right, a little chicken patty. Eh. All right, I just finished all the, the meat. I just, I feel really disgusting right now. Like nauseous, Ugh, my stomach hurts. Can't remember the last time I felt this like gross after eating fast food. But now it's time to eat the, uh, the limited edition cake on a stick. Now when they say food is on a stick, I always expect like a big stick. This is just like one of those little popsicle sticks. Oh, I don't like that. There's a weird aftertaste to that thing. <laughs> oh, 
The first bite I ate tasted like a candle. Don't ask me how I know what a candle tastes like, but my official review is I can appreciate White Castle, but I think I just don't have any need to come back. I would wait 15 minutes for the burger, not an hour, but my stomach just really hurts. I feel really disgusted after eating that, and I know there's gonna be a lot of you guys who just are passionate White Castle lovers. I'm just not a fan, I'm, I'm sorry. So now it's time to go see Fast and the Furious. Go visit the family. Now Keith, explain the plot of Fast and the Furious. Uh, I think it's about Dom and his, um, Dom was, uh, um, I don't remember. Okay, it's time, Jared. What's the official verdict? What do you think of White Castle? Well, I don't have to go to the bathroom immediately, so there's at least that. <laughs> so we're in the middle of the movie, yeah. then you're running. Yeah. It's going to be I mean, fast, and it's going to be furious uh -huh. when it hits. <laughs> when it does hit. Look, they put an emergency center right next door to White Castle, because you're going to need it afterwards. Now, we're going to, the, I believe the only IMAX theater is near, like, the Orlando Eyes. So that's where we are. So this whole, like, shopping area, every single business is, like, abandoned and, like, closed down now, which is very sad and depressing. But, yeah, these bars were always, like, popping and they're just like abandoned now. Like look, it's all just chained up. Oh, here's the company from the property group on what to do. Look at this place, soy candles. It almost looks like they just closed and then never came back. Tell this is supposed to be a scooter store. There's just a lot of empty stuff on the shelves. God, look at these fountains. They're just green and there's like algae growing in them. So this is where we're going. The Regal Cinema IMAX and 4D Theater. This looks nothing like ludicrous. How is that him? Okay, they're all mad that we're not going to the 4DX. We're going to IMAX, but they really wanted Dom to sweat on them and the sense of his sweat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How was it? It was... Fast and Furious goes to space. We'll do a 6.5. Now, I love in the Fast and Furious ride how many times they say family. I love how it's so repetitive. But oh my god, did the script writer just forget any other word? Literally every other sentence was family. Like, I get it, it's an inside joke, but ugh. Now, was that the greatest Fast and Furious movie? No, not very good. If you're a fan, it's worth a watch. The normal guy who writes the scripts, I don't think wrote the script for this one. That's why it feels very different and all over the place. There were just too many plot lines going on at once. All the characters were like separated. Normally they're kind of like on one continent. There were like five different people on five different continents. And the editing was not done very well. Yeah, hey, but Cardi B has a cameo in it. I freaked out. I was not expecting it. Sorry to spoil that for you. But yes, Cardi B is in Fast and the Furious. I never thought I would say that. But I do want to update you. Uh, the same movie theater Alice and I went to like the week before, Dwayne The Rock Johnson got his head ripped off, um, but they have since replaced his head. So uh, do not worry. Hey, if you are going to White Castle, they limit 60 sliders per order if you're um, worried. But so guys, on that note, I'm going to be in the parks this week. I'm going to be going to Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and then I believe next week I'll be at Epcot and Magic Kingdom. So you might see me in the park. So guys, on that note, I love you all. Please stay safe. And I will see you all on Friday. Chewbacca's thick cheeks are uh, dripping today.